the 28th of, the, of July of the 7th, 2024, Independent Ireland Party. Now, I've made videos about Sinn Féin and Lambeth and Sinn Féin, and the whole idea is this, to make sure that voters will vote for communist left-wing globalists or people who are conservative. It's not so much that they're right or wrong, I don't care, but that there's no such thing as a, a socialist party, a globalist party, masquerading as conservative and getting votes only to fool the people. We know the World Economic Forum, the Bilderberg Group and all that, they're into this big time. They know how to do it. They had the British Conservative Party totally woke, totally communist. How did they manage that? Well, they managed it by some means or other. It doesn't matter to us. So as a result, nobody would vote for the Tories and you got a few of Reform UK who are the Conservative Party coming up and running and all of that. But it takes time and they know this. In America, my God almighty, you have Joe Biden, you have Kamala Harris. So they have that totally rounded. Kamala Harris never got voted by anybody. Biden defeated Bernie Sanders in, in, in the... In the um, in the convention, without any proper vote. All done from on high. Kamala Harris is now the vice president. She never got approved by the membership. She's now going to be the candidate for vice for president in the next election with no convention at all. Everything done before she before it happens. Whereas Trump went before the convention and the people who were other candidates eventually pulled out when faced with him and he's properly democratically elected. So you can see how the left, how the Democrats in America, the, the, the Irish situation, the British situation, and all, and the European Parliament, you have Ursula von der Leyen uh, reappointed, you know, all, all, none of it very democratic. In any event, the name of the video again here is Independent Ireland. We have sorted Sinn Féin. The people of Ireland are going to vote now, know what they're getting with Sinn Féin. They can go green, they can go Sinn Féin, they can go Fine Gael, Fine Fáil, all the same sows, pigs, slowly but surely as the enormity of the things they're doing um, reaches ordinary people, they're rejected. Teachers in school for calling by his hymn, puberty blockers, um, um, we saw the Olympics where they, they made a film, uh, uh, um, they made an, a, a, a sketch um, parody in The Last Supper and gay people all over the place and transvestites and the whole damn thing all over this and they've taken down that. So the point about it is people are slowly rejecting it and my function is that you categorise. There's no mix. There's no such thing as saying people before puberty are a bit different than Sinn Féin. They're all left-wing, cultural Marxist, World Economic Forum-run, lefty, green lo loonies. And Cam Kamala Harris can't even put two sentences together. All lefty loonies, all believe in wind energy, which is a scam, electric cars, which is a scam, um, 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 all this uh, solar power, all that. The destroying of the environment, the killing of wildlife and all that. They're all into that, but they tell you otherwise. All liars, the whole lot of them. So then on the other side, we have the Conservatives. And so what I want to know, where does Independent Ireland stand? Kieran Mullooly got elected. And I know they probably said they'd like to win, but they were better they had to lose it, really. Because he immediately apologised to Radio Television, who were, who were his last employers. The first thing to say is, I'm not a climate denier. And immediately that shows you he's a left-wing looper. He went over to Europe and he sided with left-wing uh, groups over there. Nothing to say from him from mass migration. Nothing from the party itself. I suspect what you see with independent Ireland is a wee bit like Fianna Fáil, a bit like the, like the progressive Democrats year, years ago. And the only thing is Fianna Fáil cannot adopt our policies because Fianna Fáil is now bought and paid for by the WEF, the World Economic Forum. So, so World, independent Ireland will hum and haw. They don't seem to have any intelligent policies, but they certainly are not getting thick or up on, a, up on the high horse about mass migration. So I, they need now to have a conference. They should allow me to address that conference. I will do that if they want, but they won't let me. And there's a barrier. You only go into one side. There's no in between. You're either woke or you're not. You're conservative. And at the moment, there's just the Irish Freedom Party and the Irish National Party. And they have a, a, a councillor each in the last election. 
but the presence of independent Ireland damaged those parties that went for election on the Irish Freedom Party and the National Party. They took all the votes. As people saw them a bit like Fianna Fáil, a bit like Fine Gael, they saw them a safer pair of hands, but they didn't realise they are actually the same party unless they prove otherwise. So it's up to them to come along now and prove they're not Fianna Fáil, Fine Gael, Sinn Féin and the Greens. It's up to them. It's up to the Irish Independent Party. It's up to you to come along. Because I'm going to, if I cannot prove it in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to come the hound on you the same as uh, Sinn Féin. I want involvement, I want to know. And you think that I was asked to join, and, and several people suggested I join. I'm out and I look a nice idiot now, with me main representative in Europe, over there, courting all the, all the lefties. Huh? And nothing out of the party. And you couldn't open your mouth. You couldn't say anything. And the migrants coming in, not a word out of them. So they need to get their act together, and I don't think they will. I think they don't. I don't think they will. That's a great pity. Great pity. I mean, the Michael Collins and those fellows just involved in it, good people enough, but no good. We had uh, uh, that other Ken McNamara got elected in the south, and he seems to be every bit as bad. Will he contact me either? We gotta educate Irish people. There's only two groups and america because of its political system is exactly like that you have the left run by the democrats joe biden and kamala harris and gavin newton in california and you have the right now in which trump and this um vance fella is actually a uh, campaigning campaigning for the presidency so you have a split in america people will have to vote now there is a fella called kennedy coming on and to say that he could overtake the Democrats, and he's very medium, he's very like normal in ways, and he's a good man. So there is a bit of a split there, but generally speaking, you have just the two. So the voter goes in, he has to decide. You can't get, you can't get the Democrats without getting kids being indoctrinated from the age of four, operated on at the age of fifteen, before the parents find out, and without knowledge of the parents in some states, and all this green stuff. You can't have that. If you want to stop that, you have to go Trump. And if you don't like Trump, you have to stay at home. You have Kennedy a bit already. So, and there's no uh, transferable vote in America. So I hope I've made that clear. It's getting a bit hot here now. There's uh, Independent Ireland. You need to speak to me. We know exactly what Sinn Féin's uh, position is because they have said so. They have said so. And we can see their actions. But Independent Ireland seems to have no nothing at all. They seem to be just motionless. So we need to get that under control. We need to find out where they stand. Are they real or are they not? Because there's too much at stake. Folks, comment underneath. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll see you back for something else. Last video today. Good luck.